This is why this, this three, thank you. This is why this three, six, nine method seems to help. And the reason is we create an idea, a request, and that becomes an energy form. Okay. Now that energy bubbles out there. Now, sometimes you can completely forget about it and something does come into fruition for you, but most likely that was written on your timeline anyway. But if you're doing the 369 method and you're using it with CTT and you're trying to manifest something. So for instance, our lady, she wants to manifest like easily and joyfully manifest the optimum ability to overcome uh, any and all, you know, addiction or whatever the wording's going to be, right? But if you do it three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times in the evening, just that one round of tapping, you don't have to do the let go and heal the affirmation tail end of process, okay? Because you're just trying to do a simple manifestation, not that getting over an addiction is simple. But what happens is that consciousness, that white light request, that consciousness. Now, there's some things that, and that also cannot be turned into physical form because that's what manifesting is, right? We're trying to take, you know, make something out of nothing, okay? Now, that also cannot just manifest itself in physical form because it doesn't have a soul. A very, very important ingredient here. You have to have a soul. Now we know why the dark wants our souls, right? Because it's the only way they're going to, to evolve into physical and sometimes dark is able to evolve into something physical, but it cannot really sustain that level of energy into something physical. Like it takes a lot of energy to even a ghost, right? Even a ghost, not saying ghosts are dark, but even a ghost, it takes a lot for a, a being to show themselves physically. Okay. So. You have to give more and more energy into this request. Now, behind that request, there has to be the will because the difference between white light and dark light is the fact that the dark has this massive will to survive and sustain itself. White light, not so much, okay? It's more gentle. And so... You have to sort of, because this thought, this request is an extension of your consciousness, you have to then will it into action, okay? So that means you have to now do things in order to will it, right? The second thing you have to have, and this actually another, our nurse lady, our nursey friend, she put this together for us. And she came up with this a few weeks ago, and now it all makes sense. It's come full circle. The second thing you have to have is positive white light intentions, right? So whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you're trying to manifest it for the good. You're not trying to manifest a million dollars so you can look at poor, you know, down your nose at poor people and flash your money around and make fun of people and have status and power and all that, right? Guess what's not going to happen? You're not going to manifest because you have to have good, good, positive intentions behind it. You have to have time. Okay. You have to have time to put into this endeavor. That's very, very important. And then also you have to, what she labeled as creativity, it could be creativity or it could be the modality. Like, how are you going to will this request? into action because we have to give it the will all right now some of you may be lucky some of you may it may just go out and do what you want it to do anyway right but usually it's that formula of four intention modality or creativity will and time okay very interesting and so Going back to the consciousness of addiction, how are we going to get rid of it? Well, because like attracts like, and this energy over time is really getting very aggressive. 
you know, have you ever tried to fight an addiction? It's really difficult. It's not easy to do. You're in a constant battle. And what you need to do is you've got to stamp out most of the darkness that is within you. And I'm not talking about surface level darkness. I'm talking about internal darkness, like trauma, dark re-triggering events that carried forward into this lifetime. You've got to stamp that out. If you can stamp that out, for the most part, you're no longer feeding that addiction consciousness. And what happens? It shrinks and then it dissolves. So that's one thing we learned <laughs> over the weekend. I'm telling you, it's been a really fulfilling weekend. And, uh, but anyway, so what do you guys think about that? I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's good information. And I also think that people that are really struggling out there, right? You need to learn and separate yourself that you are not your addiction, right? Because so many people just, you have to re, and that's what we got in the session. You have to redefine yourself and you have to define it in the way that, hey, this is a separate consciousness. I have a separate consciousness, but because the addiction consciousness is so strong, right? What does it do? It does what any dark energy does. It hijacks your consciousness and you become it, which is why the whole alien thing bothers me. Okay, now some of you, I know you like to hang out with the aliens. Me, not so much, because I know that they always have an agenda hanging hey around Hey guys, you're going to have to leave. Liz doesn't want you here. I'm just Who? picking them out. I'm just, oh, they're in the room. Are you so kicking just, the, uh, the aliens out? Yeah, thing? I'm just telling them to leave. So, so yeah. <laughs> right, because you can never really get rid of the buggers when they come in. Anyway, um, so, so it's the same philosophy. And I reckon all dark energy has that same philosophy. It wants to manifest itself into physical form. The only thing that allows us to manifest this white light into physical form is the soul. I thought that was quite profound. Anyway, so today somebody requested, okay, Mr. Manifest. I love you that you're all calling him Mr. Manifest and he does too. Uh, just to let you know, he's uh, Spanish. Okay. So he's senior. <laughs> <laughs> Senor Manifester. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Senor Manifesto. And, yeah, we, we yeah, that's it. Yeah. He's Senor, Mr. Manifester. Okay, he loves that name, by the way. And uh, he's here. I know he's here listening to us. He's great. Okay, so we're going to try this script. Now it's gonna be a very long manifest statement okay but i thought we could try this script today just to see what we get is that good with everybody awesome all right is there anybody new here today we have a couple people new that are in the list i see welcome people this is our monday morning consciousness transformation technique i'm mr reality these are 50 of our closest friends and we thank you all for joining in perpetuity as well and we're joined by psychic medium liz cross and Thanks for that introduction, Liz. I'm ready to get started. Great, great. And uh, we're going to use Senor Manifesto, Manifester. I thought it was ER. Is it ER or E O R? Well, or o? there'd be no ER in Spanish. So if it's truly Spanish, then. Yeah, he's Spanish. He's definitely Spanish. Okay. All right. So. If anybody does not know what we're doing, please raise your hand. We're using bilateral tapping. Now, always put in a disclaimer here. If you are prone to seizure activity, do not, do not, do not do the CTT. It's highly stimulating to the brain. Most likely you will end up having seizures and we don't want that. That's gone from trying to eliminate one problem and getting in a whole new set of problems. We don't want that. That's not what we're here to do. So if you are prone or you have a history of seizure or any prone to seizure activity, please do not do this CTT. Okay. 
Any questions before we start? Any questions about what we're doing? All right, if anybody does have any questions, if you ever want to see George, who created the CTT in the flesh, doing CTT, just type in YouTube, George Duisman, D-U-I-S-M-A-N, okay, CTT. He actually has, I think, one video up there. Somebody posted of him leading a CTT group. Um one time he was trying to do a class, but it, it didn't really work out. All right. So let's go ahead and open. Once you have opened, do not leave. We are not responsible for what happens to you if you leave. Okay, let's go. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. An optimum etheric pyramid. An optimum etheric pyramid. As well as, as well as, an optimum etheric Faraday cage, an optimum etheric Faraday cage, for the empowerment and protection of each one of us, for the empowerment and protection of each one of us, that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now, that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now, it's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Sorry. That's all right. You should be where it is Mr. doing so Reality now with is. unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's all take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. All right. Don't worry. If phones ring, dogs bark, hey, it's life, right? We're not robots yet. <laughs> we we will be at some point. <laughs> All right. Second part of the opening treasures. And also, if those of you, you know, it doesn't have to be treasures in this second part. If it's, you can take that and you can maybe want to use it for something else, like even with manifesting or your gifts or talent or pathway, right? There's a part of me that knows how to easily and joyfully manifest the optimum ability to see, recognize, use, and enjoy. And then you can put whatever it is that you want to have in there, right? Okay, so let's do treasures. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully. No, so there's part of all of us that know how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Sorry. Easily and joyfully manifest. The optimum ability. The optimum ability. To see. To see. Recognize. Recognize. Use and enjoy. Use and enjoy. The treasures in and all around us. The treasures in and all around us. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Trying to get my head together this morning. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. All right. And then the third part, which is the most important when, especially when you're working in a group, but even if you're not working in a group, if you're letting go and healing, you need this step. Okay, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. The optimum activation. The optimum activation. Of all of our spiritual helpers and divine teams. Of all of our spiritual helpers and divine team. They will immediately take away. 
They will immediately take away any and all negative energy, any and all negative energy. They will transport it into the spirit world. They will transport it into the spirit world and transmute it into white light, positive karma back into the universe and transmute it into white light, positive karma back into the universe. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us and them now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us and them now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. All right. There was another little tidbit, um, but I don't have time to go into it about negative talk that came up. And those little teeny tiny whispers that we have, like, I'm a failure, I'm not good enough, you're this, you're that. They come up during the day. And of course, we have learned coping strategies to not even listen to those voices, right? What do we do? We shove them away. Well, what we found out is that those are that's your soul talking. That means, oh, yeah, don't dwell on it, but certainly write it down and, you know, pay attention as in make a list. And then at the end of the day, tap it out. Right. No need to dwell on it because all it is is your soul saying, hey, hey, there's more to be healed. There's more to be healed. Um. All right. So let me get this. This is going to be long winded. Mr. Reality, thank you for hosting this morning. As always, host with the most. Um. OK, so this is going to be long winded, guys. All right. But we're going to try it. So. Let's go. Senor Manifesto. Is that right? Is that correct? Manifesto? C. Yes. Sandra knows. C. All right. C. C. Oh, C. Yes. I need to take some Spanish. All right. Whew. You ready? Take a sip. Take a sip before we start. Your mouth is going to be dry after this one. Mm. All right. Let's go. <laughs> There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. The optimum ability. The optimum ability. To remove any and all blockages. To remove any and all blockages. And restrictions. And restrictions. That impede me. That impede us. Us, thank you. From achieving financial wealth and abundance. From achieving financial wealth and abundance. In this current lifetime. In this current lifetime. And any future lifetimes. And any future lifetimes. We still have two more paragraphs to go. I did put in generational in this round because that may be not what people want, but maybe you do. If you want you can always go back and put in generational financial wealth if you want all right in a way in a way that no negative consequences that no negative consequences are created are created and the need for the wealth and financial abundance lack and the need for financial wealth and abundance lack in my current and future lifetimes in my current and future lifetimes is completely eliminated is completely eliminated so that this financial wealth and abundance so that this financial wealth and abundance is joyfully permitted by source and my soul is joyfully permitted by source and my soul in this lifetime in this lifetime and any future lifetimes. And any future lifetimes. It can be shared with others. It can be shared with others. And drives us all to continue working. And drive us all to continue working. On our consciousness expansion. 
on our consciousness expansion and soul ascension process and soul ascension process. <laughs> that was short. <laughs> that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. And on the breath, I always just try to give a little gratitude, you know, a thank you out there. Just let it be known. Just thank you. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. Whew. What did you get? I feel a sense of calm and serenity, like a Zen garden. Oh, okay. Show's over. Bye. <laughs> I got, you cannot override the programming. Well, I didn't say but the I Zen garden was completely perfect. It needed it's some work. Not, it's not so Zen. <laughs> it needs weeding. Um. Okay. Mm. I got, we can't override this programming. <laughs> right. We're not that powerful. We're not allowed to. What's done is done. And you have to wait till the next lifetime to change it. You know, your circumstances now are beyond control. All right. So let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. We cannot override the programming. We cannot override the programming. This is beyond our capability. This is beyond our capabilities. We have to wait until the next plan. We have to wait until the next plan. And maybe if our soul allows it. And maybe if our soul allows it. We can incorporate financial wealth and abundance. We can incorporate financial wealth and abundance. And whatever things that we need to bring us joy. And whatever things that we need to bring us joy. In our next lifetime. In our next lifetime. We have to sit this one out. We have to sit this one out. We don't have that, that much control and power. We do not have that much control and power. What else? Words can't fix it. I like that. Words cannot fix things. Everything is a mess and in, is in need of work. Everything is a mess and in need of work. My conscious mind is not on board with my soul's plan. My conscious mind is not on board with my soul's plan. Anything else? I'd rather be angry and miss it than achieve it. I'd rather be angry and miss it than achieve it. What will I do with it? What would I do with it? That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. Stephanie's soul is really funny. It just wants to coast in each lifetime. As long as I'm happy, I just don't care. <laughs> but the thing is, it's bothering her in this lifetime. Like she's trying to be happy. and She is quite happy. But because it just wants to coast, it's causing a problem. Uh, what did you get? Uh. 
when you're performing music, there's a metronome that ticks in front of you. And I got that we're trying to accelerate the frequency tapping of the metronome, but there's a higher force that's trying to stop the metronome from moving faster or maybe just stop it in place. They were, they're trying to stop the rhythm of our manifesting. Mm -hmm. You know, Lena's a very talented person. She's here. She's got a clogged right ear. Extremely talented. Okay, so I got, it's just like, you know, the universe is going to pull the plug on the manifesting if we're not careful, right? Or we're asking too much. And we got, and I also got, it doesn't, oh, that's good, Manu. Awesome. It doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be happy. Just because you manifest what you want, you may not be happy. I think you have to have a soul like Stephanie's. <laughs> it says, yep, you guys do you. As long as I'm happy, who cares? All right, let's keep working our way through this. Uh, let's keep going. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. It may not make us happy. It may not make us happy. We think we know what we want and need. We think we know what we want and need. But we haven't got a clue. But we have not got a clue. It may make our lives easier. It may make our lives easier. But it will divert us from our journey. But it will divert us from our family. Our journey, our spiritual journey. And it could divert you from your family. Our journey and our spiritual path. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? We cannot define happiness. There's no truth. We cannot define happiness. There is no truth. What else? I can't find the right pattern in the Zen garden. I can't. Oh my God. I can't find the right pattern in the Zen garden. I don't I know the critical mathematical steps to achieve my goals. I don't know the critical mathematical steps to achieve my goals. I don't even know where to start. I do not even know where to start. I'm overwhelmed with the amount I have to do. I am overwhelmed with the amount that I have to do. And what if I put in all this effort and nothing happens? What if I put in all this effort and nothing happens? I'm angry. I am angry. I shouldn't have to ask in the first place. I shouldn't have to ask in the first place. We have very limited free will once we are in a body. We have very limited free will once we are in the body. It's an unfair system. It's an unfair system. We should be able to come down and design things in our favor. We should be able to come down and design things in our favor. They're feeding off our energy. They are feeding off our energy. And we just don't even believe anything anymore. We do not even believe anything anymore. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, body, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's all take a deep breath. Now, oh God, this is really heavy on my chest and my throat. Good grief. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. I am not worthy. I am not loved. What did you get? I got the Cinderella story. So you'll get everything that you want. But when the clock strikes 12, boom, it's all gone. Hmm. I didn't know you were fond of glass slippers. I don't think they'd fit me. <laughs> well, then you are not the princess. We're going to be taken over by AI anyway. I feel a heavy responsibility. There's a lot mm. of people that <laughs> feel like a 
a weightiness on their chest and, and a yeah. tightness in their throat and almost like a, a shooting pain in the back of their shoulder. I see someone, I think these past okay. life issues are coming back into people too. They're worried about they holding on to that trauma from the past. Well, the soul has to carry it and worried about it, the consequences. It has to carry it right. All the time. Right. You can't, the only way to get rid of it is an inner energy exchange. And what happens is it becomes locked in the soul memory. And then with each subsequent lifetime, maybe you'll figure it out, but maybe you don't. Does that sound like a fair system? No, not at all. Right. Not at all. And that's what I think this heaviness is. It's like, we shouldn't even have to ask, you know, we're down here. We're doing the good work. We're doing what we're supposed to do. We're not we're giving it know, our best shot. Right. Yeah. We're not terrible, awful people. And, and yet why are our requests not honored? You know, we should be favored. We should be rewarded for our good work. Instead, it's like a minefield. I totally get it. Uh, let's keep tapping. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. We will all eventually be taken over by AI anyway. We will all eventually be taken over by AI anyway. Our consciousness will be very small. Our consciousness will be very small. Whatever we manifest will be gone in a flash. Whatever we manifest will be gone in a flash. We are unworthy. We are unworthy. We are unloved. We are unloved. We are not favored or rewarded. We are not favored or rewarded. We're just a number. We are just a number. We thought we were making a difference. We thought we were making a difference. But it doesn't seem that way. But it does not seem that way. What else? I feel like I'm trapped in space. <laughs> like the astronauts? Like those guys. Yeah, I got a flash of them. <laughs> we feel like we're trapped in space. Yep. Yeah. What else? I'm carrying the burden of all my past lives into now and not resolving those issues. It's, yeah, it's too much to resolve. I'm carrying the burden of all of my past lives into now. It's too much to resolve. I'll never, I never have enough time. I never have enough time. I'm overwhelmed. Talk, never, I'm overwhelmed. We're talking about thousands and thousands of years of trauma. We are talking about thousands of years of trauma. The system is unfair. The system is unfair. It doesn't reward people accurately. It does not reward people accurately. It just breadcrumbs us. What? It just gives us breadcrumbs. <clears throat> Excuse me. It just feeds us breadcrumbs. Like a it little just crumb feeds here. us little tiny breadcrumbs. Yeah, and a little through crumb drips there. and drabs. Yeah, and it ghosts us as well. And it ghosts us as well. There's no reply. There is no reply. I am alone. I am alone. You can't hear me. You and source cannot hear me. Anything else for this round? Still very heavy. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. <sighs> that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, body, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. I felt something leave out my fingers then. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. I got sadness. What did you get? I got I'm burdened by the flesh meat suit I have to wear. And I just mm -hmm. want to be my soul power again. Mm -hmm. The problem is. 
yeah the soul power again but but when we okay the, so this is the problem when we leave the earth plane all these weighted things that we're having to go through like this earth plane existence right <clears throat> i'm losing my voice good grief um excuse me uh, uh, what happens is it it just evaporates when we get up there it's like the memory it's like childbirth we we actually somebody said this yesterday it's like childbirth Liz it's amazing it's like it's just gone you forget about it and it doesn't seem so heavy so you know when you get up there and you're making these plans again yeah yeah I'll do that yeah that wasn't so bad that wasn't so bad because it's not permanent just like childbirth pain it's not permanent now the reason we got that childbirth pain evaporates from the memory is because that the body is being used as a vessel to bring a soul into existence so you're rewarded you're rewarded by that memory of the child pain the childbirth uh, evaporating um because you're you're doing a really big deed from bringing a soul into existence um Okay, so, but that's the problem. It's like when we get up there, you may want to just be a soul again, but you'll forget how important all of this stuff is. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of messages down there. I can't read them. You'll have to go through them. All right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. We have the memory wipe. We have the memory life wipe. That does not serve a good purpose. That does not serve a good purpose. We need to understand how difficult these plans can be. We need to understand how difficult these plans can be. Some of us can never find our way. Some of us can never find our way. We leave with so many unresolved issues. We leave with so many unresolved issues. That makes us very, very sad. That makes us very, very sad. Sometimes we just want to check out of here. Sometimes we just want to check out of here. And just be our true soul self. And just be our true soul self. What else? I can't find the information kiosk. For my soul. Oh, that's a good one. I can't find my information kiosk for my soul. There's no guidance. There's no structure. There is no guidance, no structure down here. We're just doing the best we can. We are just doing the best that we can. And obviously, it's not good enough to our conscious minds. And obviously, it's not good enough for our conscious mind. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> what else? I can't put all the pieces of my past together in this one life puzzle. I cannot put the all the pieces of the past in this one life puzzle. It's a conundrum. It is a conundrum. I don't have the processing power to resolve everything. I do not have the processing power to resolve everything. What else? My dreams are just out of my reach. Mm, my dreams are just out of my reach. It's always been the way. It has always been the way. I don't even know what my dreams are. I don't even know what they are. I know they're out there, but I don't know what they are. That's a good one. Hmm. Anything else? Okay, we'll finish this round out. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. 
But don't forget that. Thank you. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. God, I just got a shooting pain behind my left eye. Wow. What did you get? I got a bunch of kids in a room playing pin the tail on the donkey, but people try and take the poster off the wall. So they don't even know which direction they're trying to pin the tail in. Like you can't find the spot. Uh, back and no voice, tight throat. I got a pain in the left side of my throat. I got left side. Yeah. That was my left eye. Definitely. Uh, my name is April is yawning. I think that's our April that has been with us for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Left eye surgery. Oh, oh, thanks for that. <laughs> ah, okay. Are you tapping with one eye open today? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm tapping with my third eye open. Oh, your third eye. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. I got the pain too. Let me tune into the pain. Uh, it's shock. It's shock. That's what the pain is. Shock. Why? Why the shock? It's just like the universe has shocked us, right? I just feel that really strong. Like it's almost like a lightning bolt. Shock. It's like they're trying to snap us out of it. <laughs> well, good luck with that one. All right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. The universe likes to shock us. The universe likes to. Shock us. Shock us. It reminds us how powerful it is. It will remind us how powerful it is. There are too many powerful forces here on the earth plane. There are too many powerful forces here on the earth plane. That keep us in line. That keep us in line. We are not allowed to step out of our place. We are not allowed to step out of our place. They don't care about our requests. They do not care about all this stuff. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> what else? Anything else? I left my glasses on the soul plane. I left my glasses on the soul plane. That's funny. We are not rewarded for all the sacrifice we make. We are not rewarded for all the sacrifices that we make. We just give and give and give with very little in return. We give and give with very little in return. We don't feel we deserve anything. We do not feel we deserve anything. And that is due to our self-hatred. And that is due to our self-hatred. Hmm. The part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, body, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. We're not hitting the bullseye yet. I don't know what it is. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. It's like my head's in a vice. It's like somebody's tightening it, right? Um, we haven't hit the bullseye. What, what did you get? Oh, again, it just feels like everything is dissolving in front of me and turning into a, like, it's all just dissolving and fractalizing and melting in front of me. I can't quite put my hands on it. 
We can ask for more than we are served. The inability to surrender. A sense of desolation, confusion, frustration, exasperation. What'd you get? Right. Armand's got it. It's against the law. I I got that, right? We're not supposed to be able to bust through this system, okay? We're not even supposed to know all of this information, right? We're supposed to be good little souls that want to ascend. And we, we come here for the good of everyone and for the good of ourselves. And we create all these contracts and we're just working towards soul ascension. We don't actually, on a soul level, most souls have no idea that they're just feeding, you know, sending the energy round back, you know, back and forth so that this sustains itself, right? And we're not supposed to have that information. And my head, I feel like, you know, there's, it feels like cotton wool. Like I have, it, it, I, it's weird. This is a weird sensation for me. But that's what I got very strongly. You know, our um, chakra centers, they're just, you know, plugins, basically, where the universe can plug into us and we can plug into each other. They're energy sockets. Okay. And yeah, it feels blurry, doesn't it, Judy? I, I feel that too. And and head feels way bigger than the body. I'm getting that as well. But it's like we're cheating the system. Yeah, Joanne said it. We're cheating the system. And like Armand said, it's against the law. Like we're piercing through these layers of consciousness. And we're kind of, you know, really not supposed to know this information. We're supposed to be good little souls. You know, Jesus make me a sunbeam and a good sunbeam I will be. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing. That's probably why we're always referred to as, you know, God's children. Because we are being treated like children. You know, if, you're, if you say things, something very nicely to a child... And, and you tell them this is the system and this is the way, okay, all, uh, boys and girls, everybody stand in line. You know, that's what they do, right? Okay, now we're going to walk to the lunchroom. Now we're going to do this. Now I we're said we wash. left our glasses on the soul plane too. Right. So everything exactly. is blurry in the front. This is what it is. We, we're, we're, we're not supposed to bust through these layers of consciousness. I'm getting that so strongly. Um. Now, because we are going to bust through, <clears throat> I'm even losing my voice. It's very strange. Because we are going to bust through, excuse me, <clears throat> um, we are going to have to commit within the within our intention that we're using this information for the positive, right? And that's part of manifesting. That's one of the keys to manifesting. Don't forget, we started off with a manifesting mantra, uh, you know, script this morning. And it's like, yeah, okay, you can bust through these layers, but what are you going to do with it? And it's kind of like there's they're nervous. It's whatever is out there, the, the emotion I'm picking up is they're kind of nervous about us doing this. But you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Here we go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. We're not supposed to pierce these. Um, What kind of layers are we going to call them? We're not supposed to pierce through these upper layers. We're not supposed to pierce through these upper layers. We're supposed to be good little children. We are supposed to be good little children. This information is off limits. This information is off limits. They're nervous about our intentions. They are nervous about our intentions. We're breaking many universal laws. We are breaking many universal laws. We can't commit to the good. We cannot commit to the good. With this knowledge. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going with this knowledge. With this knowledge. They're trying what to else? silence Liz. <laughs> You're not joking. Uh, what else? <laughs> They're trying to silence me. They're trying to silence all of us. That's true. We're supposed to be good little souls. <laughs> we are supposed to be good little souls. What? A oh, I felt that leave. You feel that? I felt that go. What else? Hmm. Okay. Nothing coming through. Oh, we're supposed to be sheeple. We are supposed to be sheep. We're supposed to do as we're told. We are supposed to do as we are told. <coughs> we're not supposed to accelerate consciousness expansion. We are not supposed to accelerate consciousness expansion. Or fast track our ascension. Or fast track our ascension. If everybody has... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to love this. If everybody has this information... If everybody has this information, they will all end up as ascended beings. They will all end up as ascended beings. And no one will be moving the energy around. And no one will be moving the energy around. It'll be too top heavy. It will be too top heavy. Mm -hmm. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. <laughs> relief. I couldn't remember the word. <laughs> It took the word out of my head and deep relief now. <laughs> so let's all take a deep breath. Yeah, I feel my head just feels like it's going to explode. It's really strange. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. Now. My third eye is buzzing. My crown is buzzing. This is why if you're prone to seizures, you can't do this stuff, right? This highly stimulating is rewiring. If you're feeling all that now, that feels clear to me. That feels clear. How does everybody else feel? I feel like the men okay. in black flashed me. Oh, dear. It always surprises me when flashers are going around in like 20 degree weather. You no, know, like the men in black flasher, <laughs> like, you know, the forgetter <laughs> thing that they did. That feels clear. And I also got that image of a purple plum. How strange. Lighter. Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. This was a big session. So we know those words tend to work, right? Now, if you're practicing this at home, you just need to do the manifesting part. Don't worry about the tail ender part, which is what we do on a Monday. I think if you just do it three, six, nine, you're going to make some headway anyway. With the messages that we got, which are you're, you know, you're usurping the system, I would be cautious if you're going to let go and heal on that script. Okay. I really would. Uh, I would just go plain and simple manifesting unless you're working with a partner or in a group. Um, and you can all feel like we do now it's clear, but yeah. So let's close easily and joyfully manifest optimum guidance, positive, emotional fulfillment, gratitude, self-love, and the ability to keep our intentions pure. That was a very important message that came through on this session. All right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. Optimum guidance. Optimum guidance. Positive emotional fulfillment. Positive emotional fulfillment. Gratitude. Gratitude, self-love, self-love, 
And the ability to keep our intentions pure. And the ability to keep our intentions pure. And encased in white light. And encased in white light. In all of those wonderful spaces we just opened up. In all of those wonderful spaces we've just opened up. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. That was a heavy session. Thank you, Mr. Reality, for hosting as always. Thanks, everyone, for being here. And we'll hold for questions. Yeah, I'm going to listen to that one again. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you next time. Have a great week. And our brains are fried. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs>